TFNN Headline News Update Here's Tom O'Brien Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 25. You get the NASDAQ flat. S&P's also flat. Gold contract uh, trading uh, up 70 cents at 1,187 an ounce. We have silver down 26, uh, two cents rather, at $15.77 an ounce. Platinum is flat at 1,128. You have uh, oil up 90 cents at 57.09 bonds. We have the 10-year up two ticks, 128.30. 30-year up two at 161.17. Now, the bond market got really interesting yesterday. So the 10 and the 30 came down, and you had an expanded volume. Now, we didn't break a swing point. We'll go over that. But the bottom line is that you did have volume come out of that market once again. King dollar. King dollar is down 128 ticks, trading out at 98.01. King dollar wants to go after its lower swing point. It's going to be interesting to see how it comes after this lower swing point. We'll see whether it's going to break it. Euro. Euro is up 35, trading at 107.60. You got the yen out there flat at 119.91. Uh, now, if we go over to the S&P first and look at the SPY, we use the SPY. What you have is this. You have four lower highs since the high that was established on February 25th. Uh, what has happened in this consolidation is each and every time on the way up, the market just doesn't, doesn't have the juice to get up and over that level. So the bullish part of this is that it's staying up. The bearish part is that it loses its juice each and every time. And each and every time that you go down, we have volume downtown. So what do we have out here today? Uh, yesterday, you got to a high of 210.85. The prior day was 210.86. You close, if you can't make it to 210.85 today, it's going to be a huge problem, folks, because the bottom line is that the volume is dying on the vine. We did 78 million shares yesterday. 78 million is going into 228 million. Uh, the prior day, you did 72 million. So we'll see where this sh uh, shakes out today. The Qs, the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX 100? NDX 100 is over the highs. Well, over the highs of the consolidation of the last uh, few, few weeks. We're, we hit 108.86. The actual high is 109.42. The Qs also at a high, dramatically lighter volume. The Qs yesterday did uh, 21 million shares. That's going into 41 million. The small caps, the IWM, what we have with the IWM is this. Flat market, you're at 125.72. I suspect the small caps want to test this 127.13. You know, we'll see whether it can make it. The low of that high is 125.92. Now, let's switch over to the gold market. What do we have with gold? What you have with gold is this. Gold market out here today is flat. We've done 65,000 contracts, and if the gold market can close inside 1185 today, what you're going to see, yesterday we came down with 152,000 contracts. Now, that was going into 151,000 contracts, which was the day of strength from April 1st. So 1180 is the number, meaning your benchmark. You're at you hit 1183 this morning. We're 1187. In order to get up into higher price, you you want to see the gold contract close over the low of yesterday, which is 1185. The divergence inside the gold market goes like this: the GLD, which is the Street Tracks Trust, is an ABC structure on the way up. It's a complex ABC structure, but the bottom line: it took out the B point, took it out with volume. The actual gold contract missed the volume characteristic by 5,000 contracts. The B point that we're talking about is that when we took out the 1220. So bottom line, now let's run to bonds. Because what we had with bonds and his, this is going to be really a wild uh, deal shaking out of bonds here. Bonds came down with volume once again. The bond, the 10 years at 128.27, we did 1.1 million contracts. Uh, how we come into the 127.16 is going to basically talk, walk, and squawk in this bond market. You come in there, you, you have volume that contracts, that's still saying bonds want higher price. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, visit everbank.com slash TFNN. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking to you right back here tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock.
If you're like me, you see the world's emerging nations as a very real opportunity, as these countries and their economies are developing right before our eyes. And you can rest assured that Everbank has spotted this opportunity too. In fact, they just recently unveiled the new five-year Market Safe Future Economy CD. This is a CD that could really deliver, but you only have until May 7th to take advantage. Consider the facts. If the future economy's currencies beat the U.S. dollar over the CD term, you'll get all the upside. And should they lose? No worries. There's zero downside risk here, as you still get back 100% of your deposited principal. Intrigued yet? The May 7th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is an equal housing lender and member FDIC.